Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading, and this is behind the scenes on your person. Yes, it is that reading once again, all about them, right? And <clears throat> kind of like uh, behind the back door and uh, maybe hiding out by their job just to uh, find out what they're up to. And no, we don't do those things if they are uh, kind of um, being open, right? But when you feel like there's something to mistrust, uh, sometimes you got to do these things, right? <laughs> And I hope you guys are all well, and please uh, note, Capricorn, that these readings are general, and that they may or may not resonate, right? And these could be yours or your person's energy, and at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, uh, for your person's reading is the Two of Pentacles and the Moon card. Now, there could be a water sign here, but I feel like there is what's happening here. Somebody is uh, confused here, or they're trying to make a decision, or I feel like... I feel like it is not so much maybe a decision. I feel like it is more anal analyzing. There could be fear involved, but there could be maybe a decision or some analysis going on that is regarding you and possibly a water sign. Let's get into the reading and we're going to find out. Yes, we are. And if we don't find out here on YouTube, uh, damn sure we're going to find out on uh, Vimeo, okay? And right now, Capricorn, your person is in the energy of, let's see here, I think these have already been cut, but that's okay. I feel like the whatever cards come out are the right ones. All right, Page of Cups, your person is in the Page of Cups energy. Yes, they are. <laughs> and crossing them is the Four of Cups. It could be a Sagittarian or a Libra here. King of Pentacles, this is you, Sagittarius. Uh, uh, sorry, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm looking at temperance, that's why I said that. I feel like I've done that before. In their environment is the king of swords. They are making a decision, or there could be an air sign in their environment. Okay, so let's see what we have for Capricorn's person. Page of Cups showing up. Why is that Page of Cups there for Capricorn's person? Mm -hmm. Two of Swords. Five of Cups. Wow. <laughs> Your person could be trying to, like, they could be at a stalemate here if they are open to love with you. And this that's why the bottom of the deck was like that. Remember I told you they were trying to figure something out here. And in deep analysis, I feel, and they are, I feel like this, what this is is very simple here. And what I mean by that is this two of swords is right in the middle. I kind of like when this, when this happens here because it is uh, entirely indicative of what's going on on one side and what's going on on the other side. So they're at a stalemate here about whether or not they're open to love about you because they could cause a lot of grieving on the other end. Yes, they could. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now, in their crossing energy is the Four of Cups. And I'm not going to take that card, although it is a very deep card. I'm going to shuffle a little bit. Why is that Four of Cups crossing them, please? Sorry guys, I'm getting like cold here, a little dull, I'm kind of tired of this. I'm going to go upstairs and get some uh, super food here. What do we got here? Ace of Pentacles, and what's crossing them is they could be dealing with a water sign, right? This can be Pisces or Scorpio. And this could also be, the High Priestess could be like, like they're like kind of trying to use their intuition, right? Or they're in mystery. Yes, it is. And I feel like what's crossing them here is that they could be, uh, this person that they could be leaving in this black cloak here, okay? Yes, it is a cloak, all right, guys? I know you guys are not probably old enough to know about cloaks, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, and they're now called coats. <laughs> For the most part, all right, guys? And um, I feel like what's crossing them here is they could be, uh, knowing if they have a new beginning with you, it's possible they're going to leave this other person like super unhappy here, or they, they have to reject this other person to be with you. Yes, they do. Let's get a couple cards from the, uh, what is it called? The Enchanted Map Oracle, you guys. Beg your pardon, but sometimes when I have a cold, I don't sleep well, and I feel like I'm kind of in that energy right now. Let's see what we got for Capricorn's person, right? In the game of love, all right? I call this the game of love. For me, it is the game of love, the tarot. Yes, it is. Even if you're doing a... I guess if you're doing a career reading, uh, you know, but I still think that even if you are doing... The tarot is mostly based on uh, love. Yeah, I feel like it is, right? And the journey of life, right? <coughs> Let's see what we got. 
strength mountain <coughs> oh god god bone collector wow moonlight okay so strength card is talking about somebody uh they probably have more strength than they realize. Let's have a look at that card because these are still fairly new. Your true strength comes from comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith and a higher power. Yeah, I feel like that is always true. Yes, it is. Whatever higher power you guys believe in, whether, whether or not it is God, the universe, uh, whatever it is, all right, um, I feel like this is true. And they even say that people who believe in a higher power live longer. Yeah, they do. Wow. Which is kind of powerful for me. Uh, yeah. And let's see what we got. The mountain card talks about, yeah, you are able to, your person, this could be for you or your person, but uh, for me it's most likely your person. It is telling them they are able to adapt, like, to whatever situation they, uh, like, you know, are in, in fronting, or, I'm um, sorry, uh, confronted with, right, or encountering, okay, and let's see what else we got, the bone collector, wow, this is a trippy card, let's look at, uh, it is the number one in the whole deck, not sure why the bone collector is the number one, <laughs> let's see what we got, could be just any, could be randomly, right, See where number one is. It is your whole and have everything you need within. Yeah. And that's what these cards are telling your person. Like to kind of, you know, kind of gather their strength here because they are able to adapt to any situation and that they have everything they need. Moonlight. Let's see what Moonlight says. Your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical, and analytical. Follow it. Yeah, this is super interesting here. Wow. Mm -hmm. So these cards are kind of telling your person to kind of believe in a higher power, believe in intuition, uh, believe that they have everything it takes, right? They can even adapt to any situation uh, that they choose. And I feel like your person over here is not really thinking that, though. They are worried about kind of, they could be worried about hurting somebody else. Um, let's see. Let's continue with the reading and find out. Because I feel like Capricorn, your readings are always interesting. Yes, they are. And I feel like they can be challenging as well. Let's see what we got here for your person. In the root is the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups there in the root, please? I feel like what this is, I feel like it is a continuation of the last reading. And the last reading was, uh, it could be for some, the last reading was, uh, they know that being in a union with you might be difficult. The devil card, this could be you. This could be you here. And then we have the star card. Wow, yeah, I feel like they are... They could be stuck about healing it with you. I feel like that's exactly what this is here. Mm -hmm. Because on the other side of that two of swords is this person here. Let's get a card here. Because, you know, we just started the reading Capricorn for your person. And I feel like their overall energy is between a stalemate between offering you love and leaving regret for somebody else. Right? Leaving somebody else in regret. Why is that five of cups there, please? And they could feel like they could have regret if they go towards you. Because, uh, looking at the last reading, they know that uh, being in union with you would be difficult. That was the title. Empress, let's see here. Yeah, I feel like this is totally page of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is clear. They feel. I feel like they feel like... Um, uh, that they could leave somebody regret, uh, in grieving, leave somebody grieving, or they could regret this themselves, which can be the same, right? Depending. Why is the star there in the root? Why is that star there, please? Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, they're, I feel like what this is, is they're stuck here about what, whether or not they can heal it with you. Mm -hmm. Because there's somebody else here, I feel like, right? And the Temperance card, and they're doubting themselves because of it. I feel like this person is kind of letting whatever they are in, uh, they could be in a family dynamic maybe, but wherever they are, uh, they are like, it is not empowering them. No. Wow. Mm -hmm. Temperance, the magician, 
Three of Wands. In the recent past, it's, it's a possibility they turned their back on you for a Sagittarian. Mm -hmm. And they could have had some harmony with you, maybe, right? They could have. Let's see. Let's get like some... They could have felt balanced with you. It's a possibility. Let's get a card out of that Three of Wands. Why is that Three of Wands there? Six of Swords. Wow. And the, the, you know, the Sagittarian uh, card, the card of temperance, can sometimes show up here. It can talk about spiritual evolution. Yeah, it can. The angel is there, like, uh, blending these, uh, this kind of potion, whatever. But her one foot is on in the water, and one foot is on the earth, which talks about kind of balancing, you know, things between heaven and earth. And it can talk about healing... And it can talk also about harmony, like with somebody, balance and harmony. And it can talk about feeling good, like feeling like harmonious within yourself. It's kind of an interesting card. Mm -hmm. Wow. Why is that Six of Swords there? It looks like they, turned, they, they left in the past here. They were in a third party or you were part, like there's somebody else here. And that they, they could have walked away from you, possibly because of a Sagittarian, Queen of Cups, uh, water sign here. They could have been trying to maybe balance it out here with a water sign. It, it's going to depend. Now, the Justice card is crowning their thoughts. Why is it crowning their thoughts? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's a Sagittarian in this reading here that they're dealing with in some, on some level. The Chariot card. Wow, this could be this Queen of Cups person. Three major arcana crowning their thoughts. The Hangman, four. Ten of Pentacles. So crowning their thoughts is definitely a union here. Mm -hmm. And they could be dealing with this Piscean or uh, Cancerian. Maybe a Libra, Libran, but I'm not really seeing that so much. I'm seeing a Water Sign and a U and Sagittarius Capricorn. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're stuck here if they want to have victory here. Mm -hmm. They could be in a marriage here as well. They could be stuck about whether or not they want change in their life. That could be the case. And there could be a truth here. <clears throat> this is why they maybe are stuck. It's going to depend here. There could be a truth here. About a Sagittarian, it's, it's a possibility here. And that could be affecting their ability to move forward here. Because your person is stuck here for some reason, right? And the cards, the oracle cards, are telling them to kind of trust in themselves, right? And kind of get some balls. That's really what it is here, okay? Cut to the chase. And <laughs> I feel like they are lacking that. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, Capricorn, you are the one. You are their empress here. I feel like you are the passionate one for them. You could be their star, but I feel like this is what this is. I, I, it, it could be. It could be dealing with a mother, though, because the Ten of Cups is here, and the empress could be a mother. But the fact that they are stuck here means that I feel like they are dealing with some type of a long term, but they really want to be with you, and they don't have the balls. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Why is that King of Pentacles showing up? It could be a man or a woman, even if they don't have the balls. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm bad. All right, let's see what we got. In the near future, they're discerning a matter of whether or not they're going to leave. They could be thinking you're going to leave them out here. And that could be the case, too. And what I mean by that is that they could be thinking if they go towards you and leave somebody else out, that maybe it's not going to work out with you. And in the end, you could leave them out. Let's see here. But I feel like right now they are discerning a matter here about walking away from somebody else. Mm -hmm. But to me, it looks like they don't have the courage to do it. Yeah, this is how this is looking here. And this is kind of what your past readings have been saying. Why is that Queen of Swords there, please? Death card. Six of Wands. This is in the near future. They're trying to discern whether or not they should end something and have victory with you. And they would have to leave somebody out here. Pretty sure they are. And the Knight of Swords is how they are seeing themselves. Why do they see themselves that way? 
Knight of Wands, wow. Hermit, could be a Virgo here, wow, okay, interesting here. I feel like they, they don't have to be a Virgo, though. They could simply be uh, in this hermit mode, right, for sure. Five of Wands. Because to me, it looks like, you know, if, if somebody is at a stalemate, your person is at a stalemate. For sure they are. About, I feel like about two situations, they could easily be in this hermit role, right? They don't have to be a Virgo. And I really like to read, I like to read the Major Arcana as people. Not all the time, though. It's going to depend on the reading. In fact, in this reading, uh, yeah, there could be a Virgo for, you know, any Capricorn around the world, right? Okay, but uh, my point about it is that I feel like they are in reflection here, and they are in the hermit mode, yeah, because they're at a stalemate over there, and in the root here, they're stuck. They kind of like, this is the card of kind of fear, not knowing what to do, uh, some type of a, a mental trap, emotional trap, etc., one more card. Why is the Five of Wands showing up there? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they're in hermit mode here, I think, about whether or not they want to be single and kind of rush in and take action with you, uh, take action towards you. They could be taking action with you. <laughs> right? King of Swords is in the environment. Why is that there? In the environment, please. And the King of Wands showing up. Mm-hmm. World card, wow, there's like a lot of major arcana in this card, in this reading, sorry. Mm -hmm. There's like 13 major arcanas here, mm -hmm. wow, big time, mm -hmm. or 14, something like that. Okay, so let's keep going, guys. This is, this is always interesting to me. In the environment is the world card for them. They're trying to make a decision here. Yeah, they are. And they could be a fire sign, right? They could be a Sagittarian here. But they don't have to be. I mean, I feel like if they are not a Sagittarian, I feel like there is a Sagittarian that is, like, part of the situation here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like this is uh, about a third party that is, like... Uh, a romantic one, but I feel like there is also a third party in this reading that is like family or friends or something like that. And I've been saying that for a long time, Capricorn, all right? Okay, let's see. And this is what we have right now in their environment. They're trying to make a decision here uh, that has to do with, with a fire sign or a Sag here. Um, and this could be sometimes about passion, King of Wands kind of, but... I feel like there's a fire sign here about ending a cycle and starting a new one. And the new one is with you. Why is that world card there, please? Yeah, this, yeah, interesting. Nine of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah, and this Six of Cups was in your last reading. You're dealing with somebody from the past. They could have been your friend when you were, like, they could have been a lover, but they could have just been, like, a childhood friend. Or this could be somebody you dated in the past as well, right? Mm-hmm. OMG, let's see what we got here. They're trying to make a decision here if they want to, like, uh, I feel like you are their Nine of Cups, and if they're going to end the cycle with somebody else and have a new one with you. Mm -hmm. And in their hopes and fears, all right? We're going to find out more about those over on Vimeo as well, uh, where the tell-all is. Yeah, the tell-all is uh, currently living over on Vimeo. Yeah, mm -hmm. Had to pay for the space though, right? <laughs> Why is that Three of Cups there, please? Why is the Three of Cups there? Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. This is in their hopes and fears. I feel like they want to hold on to you here. Mm -hmm. And they want to reunite with you. They could be fearing leaving too. They could be fearing that you are leaving. But they could be fearing... Uh, and what I mean by fearing leaving is fearing leaving their own union that they are in now, although they want to hold on to you, which to me is super interesting and like como, like say, fascinante, right? Yeah, like fascinating, right? Yeah. So let's find out over there, at least for me it is. <laughs> we're going to talk all about, uh, let's see, we're going to, let's see what we got here uh, regarding your person, right? Let's see. 
Yeah, we're going to find out the outcome here, uh, Capricorn, and also the current dynamic between you guys, how they really truly feel about you, what they are hoping for, and what they are fearing separate, right? Because I want to I want to clarify that. Yes, I do. And uh, what could be challenging this, and what they could possibly be hiding from you. And I feel like they are hiding some things from you, right? Definitely. And all those extensions are super affordable. And uh, yeah, and I will see you over there. Uh, should you guys really want to find out about your person. Uh, if you guys want your own reading, that is always the best way. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. Thank you.